I've always found the story behind this probiotic really, really interesting, and I want to share it with you. Uh, this particular probiotic called E. coli Nissel 1917 was discovered in the middle of World War I. Now imagine this, in the middle of a battleground, lots of soldiers coming down with severe dysentery, yet there's one soldier who doesn't get any of it. Now a scientist wanted to understand why, and he eventually isolated a particular bacterial strain from that soldier which we are using till this day. The studies actually show it can help maintain remission in mild osteocolitis, performing similar to uh, mesalazine type medicines. And it's actually the only probiotic that the European Crohn's and Colitis Organization guidelines have as an effective alternative to mesalazine in maintaining UC remission. Here's how it works. It competes with harmful bacteria within the gut. It strengthens the intestinal barrier and it supports some of the healing involved. But honestly, part of me feels frustrated that in over 100 years, we're still relying on that same strain with all the AI modeling we have, with all the knowledge of the gut microbiome that we're now aware of, I can't help feeling we're overdue a breakthrough. Something new, something better for patients with colitis. I am hopeful though.